Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing Villain Saga Season 2, episode number 10. Previous episode was my favorite of the series, for sure. Seeing Thorfinn finally accepting his past and realizing he obviously wanted to forget all of that. But thanks to last episode, he finally figured out that it's important not forget to forget those things but still move on and we see all the bodies of people he killed uh, grabbing on to Thorfinn and Thorfinn climbing together with them and Daskelad pushing him to do so and saying that he is lucky that he can escape this hell. The way they depicted Valhalla was really brutal and very very realistic man. It really made you think that a warrior's lives lead to nothing, man, and that violence doesn't bring anything good at all. Of course, we saw Thor's as well, who had uh, probably, I can't say the same past as Thorfinn, but he was a warrior, right? We even saw in one flashback when, before Yilva was born, I think, how cold and ruthless Thor's seemed compared to what we saw in first four episodes from Thor's. So yeah, um, amazing stuff. I can't even describe to you guys how much I'm enjoying this and Thorfinn's character development is something incredible. I was talking to my Patreons about how some people don't like that Thorfinn made that oath not to fight. Like, the whole point was for Thorfinn to reach this point. <laughs> Literally, it was established early in the series when Thor's stated those lines. You don't have any enemies, nobody has enemies, it's not okay to hurt anyone. And Thorfinn finally accepts that and learns what that truly means. And he is now able to finally move on and work with Tainer to regain his freedom and start a new life, man. It can't get any more beautiful than that, bro. Like, it would be so fucking boring to see Thorfinn never change and constantly fight and kill people, like, that's not the point. The author is clearly trying to convey the message of anti-war, anti-violence and what is truly important in life and that violence can't lead to anything good, which is a fact. So yeah, definitely my favorite episode of the series. I'm super excited to see more. You guys told me that uh, the greatness will continue and I'm very hyped for it. Of course, Ketil in his manner giving slap on the wrist to both retainers and Thorfinn and Daenar and not punish, punishing anyone. <laughs> And I can't lie, Pater kinda influenced his decision and I'm really thankful for Pater. He's such a phenomenal guy. So they're going with the story that wild boars <laughs> destroyed the wheat field and they are back to work, man. I can't wait to see what's next in store for us. So without further ado, let's jump into episode number 10. Let's begin. All right, guys, everything is ready. Let's start. The production quality and direction is so good man every episode literally feels like you're watching an anime movie man the cursed head beautiful day <laughs> and the boys are back to work chopping down the trees i wonder how much is left of that forest yep those cars <laughs> Look at him, man. Yo, they are ripped. They're literally built like Greek gods. Yo, Yo, look at this shot. Look at Thorfinn's face, man. Was he ever this happy? Find the last one! Oh my god, bro. This is life, bro. Yeah, I'm not 
They finished the whole forest. Ah, three years. More than three years. So now they're very close to freedom. We're nearly there. I'm so happy, bro. I'm, I guess, to start thinking about that. Oof, 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 oof. Yeah, there is that, there is that. Uh, that's giving me some bad vibes thinking about that. Yeah, I think that he thinks of her as the most important person in his life, to be honest. Which is very unfortunate. <laughs> I can't wait to see that moment. Bro. Hopefully, that happens soon. <laughs> so many scars. Holy shit, man. Oh my god. Truly reborn. Okay, okay. I'll give you a little discount. <laughs><笑> Oh my god. Yeah, you heard him right. <laughs> it feels unreal. <laughs> Until after I return. I hope nothing bad happens. Plus, yelling to visit King Harald. Olmar! He grew a stash. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> oh what benefit is there for the worker from that in which he labors? I have seen the task which God has given the sons of mankind with which to occupy themselves. He has made everything appropriate in its time. This is similar to the text we saw in the first episode of the season, right? Oh, there is more. He has also set eternity in their heart, without the possibility that mankind will find out the work which God has done from the beginning even to the end. What do we have here? Vikings? Was that a Viking ship? Oh, definitely, yep. Similar pose in which we saw Snake for the first time. 
There is Gunnar the snake. Wait. It's Kanute. My men grew so much, bro. That's a face of a king if I ever saw one, bro. Holy shit, we are going to get more of Kanute. Wow, both him and Thorfinn changed so much. Did he came back to Denmark from England? England or Gobuji no but he's no longer capable of speaking. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Next few days will be critical, so what if he dies? Does Kanute get rulership over Denmark as well? He's remembering his childhood. Yo, it's them playing. <laughs> Ragnar, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at little Kanute. This is Harald. <laughs> and of course, Ragnar being worried about him. But Harald is like, look at him, he can do it by himself. Wow, it seems like Harald truly cared for Kanute. <laughs> you can change him, man. He loves Kanute way too much. Oh yeah, look at what he's wearing. It's probably done by Ragnar to protect him. <laughs> I did not expect Harald to be like that. But maybe he changed. What the fuck is that? A head full to the ground. Oh no, it's it's something that only Kanute saw. Bro, what the fuck was that? Yeah, he's rubbing his eyes, bro. He, he's seeing things. England and Denmark. There is Harald. The relationship was good, bro. He's supported his brother. Harald,山に倒れる。ハラルドは山に倒れる。ハラルドに着手はいなかった。No children. Oh, is it their sister? Oh, shit. Oh my god, he is in terrible condition. Yep. He's on his way out. He opened up his eyes. Yo, holy shit, bro. He's gonna give 
the rulership of Denmark to him. Wait, what the fuck was that? Wait, 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 wait. Many fucked up things are happening in my, my mind right now. Why did he smile like that? Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me that he didn't do to his brother what he did to English kings. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. Is he seeing his father? Was that the head that fell earlier? Bro, Kanute, what the fuck? He poisoned his own brother. Man, we are going opposite waves with their characters. Man, Torfin and Kanute. I was getting myself ready to talk about how I expected Harald and Kanute to have beef, considering what we learned about King favoring Harald, right? And we never actually got to see him, but I always had the thought in my head that Harald will be more ruthless like his father, like a proper viking, right? And he was actually on such a good terms with his brother Kanute, he even gave him his aid during the battles, he sent his ships, and we see the flashback, he cares about his little brother, and Kanute poisoned him! And he sees the title of the episode, The Cursed Head of his father. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Could this show get any better, bro? Are you fucking kidding me, man? I feel so fucking bad for Harold. He's asking him, what will you accomplish by doing that? This is so creepy. The crown! <laughs> the crown! He's becoming the slave to the crown! Oh my god! You will suffer twice as much as I did! Oh my god! And we see Yggdrasil and everything. Hi, <laughs> man. He's literally becoming a slave to the crown. Like his father was. Oh my god, the writing of this show is so fucking incredible. His own brother. Damn it, Kanute. Do you really think this is necessary for you to create the paradise? Nanda. Oh, is he afraid of getting poisoned? Exactly. Oh my god, it's so creepy. Look at it sitting with fucking head in the corner in the darkness. And he talks to it. Okay, Kanuta has some problems as well, man. The curse is growing stronger. Yikes, this is uncomfortable. He knows. <laughs> Bro. I don't know what to say. You come to think like a real king. 
he's becoming everything that he didn't want to become. <laughs> Yo, that laugh. Oh, fuck. You're the only one I can speak to, frankly. I wonder why, Kanute. Oh my god. What an incredible fucking show, man. This is insane. No, don't. Don't show that, man. I really didn't know that Harold loved Kanute, man. And the father is coming for him. And they're both gone, and Ragnar as well. And he's all by himself, being paranoid of getting poisoned, having nobody close to him, man. Ah, uh, bro. <sighs> wow, guys. After episode number nine, we get another banger of an episode. This time featuring Kanute. And he keeps poisoning people. None other than his brother this time around. Before that. I think that this is the first time. Since Iceland. Since he was a child. That Thorfinn was genuinely laughing and being happy. Man, That was such an incredible scene. Seeing him and Daner hugging each other, chopping down the last tree, is everything. They finished. The whole forest is clear. And Kettle shows up, saying that he will give them a little discount. And that once they are finished uh, sowing the seeds, they, are, they will be free. They gave him... Uh, he gave them the option to be retainers to work for him when they become free right and to give it a little thought but he mentioned that he's going to yelling to where uh king harald is right and that he will set them free once he comes back and something goes off in my head this is bad man something might happen it's just like one of those gut feelings that you sense when you see some line like that dropped and considering the, that Harald is dying and that Kanute will take over the Denmark maybe he won't agree to Ketil's requests right? what if Kanute has a different approach? what if Kanute doesn't like being i mean it's not necessarily a bribe but like a protection i don't really know how will things play out because kanute is a different person right now man he is getting consumed by the crown he is becoming slave to the crown it's a curse and he sees his father's severed head just how we have Thorfinn seeing askelad and thor's Askeladd actually helping Thorfinn become free and become reborn and a new person while Kanute is becoming friends with his father. And that's kind of the contrast between them. Thorfinn is smiling and becoming a free man while Kanute is becoming a slave. And we see the ending shot him sitting at the dark 
watching outside the window and refusing food and drinks because he fears he might get poisoned. He's being paranoid because he's doing that to other people and he thinks that there is only one ruler necessary. His father's head, King Svein, saying that he wants to become the ruler of North Sea and I don't really know at this point what to believe. Does he still intends to create his paradise? Does he really think that his brother's death was necessary for that? I'm now not so sure anymore. One thing is for sure, King Canute is a very lonely man and he is slowly becoming just like his father. The father he despised so much. Holy fucking shit, this villain saga, incredible show. Also, there was that text in the middle of the episode, just like we saw in episode 1, which is clearly some sort of biblical text or whatever, and it's quite dark. Like, what is there for worker to gain from his labor, and because God already has created everything and gave eternity to the hearts of sons of gods, of people, right? Like, meaning that everything is pointless and that life is meaningless. Of course, if you guys have any clues, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious about that. And we met Astrid, Canute, and Harald's sister. That was nice. And Canute was saying, refer to me as your majesty. <laughs> Damn, he changed so much. He is changing as well, just like Thorfinn, but not in direction we hoped for, and not in direction that he wanted, right? But it looks like Crown is ordering so, right? And that flashback, bro. I was so surprised to see Harald actually being such a nice older brother to Knut and seeing Ragnar again. Canute being so cute and Ragnar caring about him, <laughs> the way he dressed him up not to get hurt if he falls or if he gets hit, it was hilarious but also it goes to show you how fucking huge Ragnar's love for Canute was. Amazing stuff guys, I can't wait to see more, I will end the video here for today, thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, if you did please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.